welcome back to my channel. My name is Alara. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today, exactly as you are. And thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today, exactly as I am. This is the start of a new vlog. It is currently Monday, December 27th, about 8 a.m. I have this sweatshirt and I was going to donate it, but I grabbed it out of the bin like last minute because I was like, why would I donate this? Like it was one of my favorite sweatshirts and there's a big fat stain like on the front. Like it's a big fat yellow stain. I don't even know what this is, which is exactly why I donated it. So I can't wear this. So this is the sweatshirt that I decided on. I thrifted this a few weeks ago a couple times over and I've been on the hunt for like a sweatshirt or a t-shirt with like a graphic like this for literally years literally years and I finally found it so I'm not here it's like they sense that I'm gone so they're like time to drop it off fun Ooh. This packaging is so pretty. Okay, so here's the shade. Oh, magnificent. So, okay, so yeah, I ordered this from the brand Honey and Ivy on Etsy. Oh, I worked at a VR place that had 3D printed things and I just became like I love the way it feels because the thing is yeah I need to keep it in a place where it can access the little switch in the bob okay yes I think I'm gonna put it on the book Yes. Okay. Okay. Do I like that? I Hello, I just got out of the shower. I just reshaved my head. It is about 7.30, a little after 7.30. And I've kind of just had a slow night. I haven't been on my phone too much, which is really nice because I very much go through these patterns of not being on my phone at all versus always being on my phone. Right now, I think my screen time is pretty good. Like, I think my screen time is only about three and a half hours a day. But that's on my phone. 
like we're not even gonna talk about the screen time on my laptop because that is so much more embarrassing like it really is because most of the time like if I'm home sitting at my desk like my laptop is open whether I'm watching YouTube videos or editing a video or listening to music on Spotify or you know something I think within the upcoming year I want to just be able to consistently manage my phone addiction or however you necessarily want to word it I do think I am a lot better than what I was like I am not going to be upset at myself with the amount of time that I am on my phone if I step back and look at everything I never exceed my time limit on Instagram I have it set to 30 minutes I think 30 or 45 minutes and I never get that notification like I'm never on Instagram long enough to get the notification I'm really only on Twitter long enough to talk to people like answer DMs I don't know I do think I have managed my social media addiction rather well because if I even like look back probably just a year like I was way worse with my phone habits than I am now but I think like tackling just spending all my time on YouTube is the main thing that I need to conquer because yeah I've beat like my social media addiction in terms of Instagram Twitter you know those things but I am always watching YouTube that fit today hey hello I feel like either the last time I talked to you all was either this morning or last night but I just made myself a little drink I think this combination is like a local thing all that this is is I do like a shot and a half to like two shots of blue curacao and then I just fill the rest of my class up with pineapple juice. Hello. Hello. I was before I called you, but I'm getting impatient. So. <gasps> oh my god, and this is perfect. I love that. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, yeah, because my hair is looking pretty funky after the bleach. It looks like it might take. I hope. I like it. I like it. Do you it. like it? I do. It's like... Your hands are very blue. They are. It's very like Haley Williams. I'm getting like Haley Williams vibes. It is Thursday, December 30th. It's currently about 8.30 in the morning. And right now I am getting ready to head to the town over because I need to grab a couple things. And small town vibes means I gotta drive 30 minutes to get anything that I actually need, which is fine, I guess. I like driving, I don't mind it. And I definitely, and I know I wore this outfit in my last vlog, but the thing is, whenever I thrift new pieces, I kind of just wear them a lot. <laughs> Today's going to be a productive day, because I mean, I already checked like two things off of my list. I have a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, a um, chocolate croissant. Alrighty, thank you. Did you just hear my total? I don't know how much of that I'll be able to like have in because I had music playing. But did you hear my total? It's 8.15, which is my birthday. And uh, like my birth date, like August 15th, so like 8.15. The thing is like my, the clock on my truck is like off by an hour. And uh, literally like right before my order, it was 8.15 on the clock. My order total was 8.15. 
I did find these two sticker sheets there, which I think they're both like really cute. They were like 50% off. I did find a square journal. I would. What would fit me anyway? You're here. <laughs> excursion and I'm just gonna do a bit of a haul you saw me in the thrift store trying on a few pieces but I didn't buy every single one of them and then I found a few others for clothes and stuff I did pick up three things from the Salvation Army the first one being this cute little like light green kind of knit cardigan the other thing that I picked up is this super fun kind of brown suede jacket. It definitely doesn't look good with this since I'm wearing a brown top, but I think overall the jacket fits really well. It is a little bit oversized enough to where I could layer pieces underneath, but it's also lightweight enough that I can wear it like fall through spring probably. Then, whenever I was out running around, I had a package delivered, so I want to go ahead and open this up. Both of these pieces are from Silver Moon Tide on Depop, and the first thing I see is the cutest little, like, note with, it seems like a necklace or something. I've included a free gift and a paper crane for good luck. Oh my goodness, Silver Moon Tide. Which, okay, the thing about paper cranes is if you know me, like, on my, in my Prius, on my dashboard, I have a paper crane that I picked up from, like, an Australian bakery. And there's, like, cute little paper cranes. I'm putting them on my desk. I am putting them on my desk. This is adorable! Look at this free, look at this little necklace the cutest little like moth charm the first one is this immaculate little kind of brassiere and then the second piece is also immaculate it is this fake leather kind of like underbust corset i love this it's a little uneven because the straps are uneven Unfortunately, it is just too big, which is really upsetting because if this fit right, it would look really good. Some potentially boring updates for you all. Today, literally every single one of my favorite pens ran out, like in black at least. Went ahead and picked up another two pack. And in case you're wondering, in case you're curious, my favorite pens are the, like, Sharpie Estrells. I know, like, a lot of people have talked about these. But, yeah. Sharpie, like, Estrells. And I get, like, the 7 millimeter like, medium. And right now I'm just having a little snacky snack of carrots and hummus. And the great thing about living with my grandma is that she's not super adventurous with food. Like, she doesn't really like hummus or anything. So, this is, like, all for me. I forgot how much I actually like having my bed made. Because 
at the end of like a long day it just feels so ridiculously good to peel back the covers pull down my pillows just sink into the freaking mattress it's only like 9 30 but i am so tired tomorrow is the last day of the year and i was journaling about this earlier but it's so odd like everything that's happened it was a really tough one but it was also like really good like it was really good really healing showed me just like so many things and like parts of myself that were like undiscovered so like i'm very grateful for this year i wrote in my journal tonight and it like really like hit me oh my god as i said this it's 222 i glance and it's 222 2021 made room for all the love that 2022 will bring i was just journaling you know about the year and i had written that and i was like you're 100 right l i also want to get back to just being like authentic and vulnerable on this channel because i mean to do that like i have to once again be vulnerable and open with myself yeah honestly truly before i can once again like get back to being as vulnerable and open with you all as i was a few months ago like i have to get back to being as vulnerable and open with myself as i was like every day i'm just like reassuring myself that like my step backs and my depressive episodes are not like the end all be all it's not you know it doesn't mean that i can't try again look at every little sun babies i told myself that if i woke up early enough i'd film like a morning routine or something well my body clock said oh early how's 3 a.m So I just imported like all the footage that I think I've collected just over, I think it's been like a week and a half to like maybe even like two weeks. And it is over two and a half hours. I haven't edited a vlog in a little bit, so this is a little intimidating. I kind of just wait to edit my videos until I get done like filming for the week. But then I just have two plus hours of footage to like dwindle down and it's just like overwhelming to me and then I end up just putting it off and then by the time I feel like editing the footage like I feel like the footage is too old to upload so I think what I want to start doing or start trying to do rough cut the videos so whenever like I sit down to you know compile the video together all I really have to do is just add like finishing touches and music and text and stuff that's typically my process anyway but if I space it out and make it less work for me like each day it'll feel more manageable Hello, good morning. Good morning part two. It is a few hours later. I just threw my laundry in the wash. I also need to return to library books today. I've been in a reading slump for like a good chunk of December. Like I think I've read one book this month. Now I'm going to get ready and shower. It is, yeah, it's New Year's Eve. It's the last day of the freaking year. Very odd but it's gonna be a good day. I'm not really in any sort of bad headspace per se. I'm kind of just in a very like pensive headspace, like a very contemplative headspace. I FaceTimed my friend Liv for, I want to say like probably a couple hours today. And then after I just journaled, 
I at first did kind of just like a whole dump about reflecting on the past year and then Sophia Kelly I believe is her name she posted like one of her journal prompts and it was like a 2021 reflection but that was the clip that you saw and that was honestly really nice like I really liked her questions that's the first time I've ever done anyone like a prompt of hers but I really liked it like two of the questions were what were the highs and what were the lows and I had so many highs and sitting to like journal it out I could only think of three major lows in this past year I'm not saying there were only three bad moments in the year but I could only remember three bad moments and I think that's what matters is the fact of my brain didn't overload on negative feelings this year which is something that I've definitely done in the past. 